we've kept all that. Oh, okay. All right. No problem. Yeah. Got it. So you kind of thought that too, just looking at the release notes. Yeah, because be, before I think there was a time when the commit dates mattered, but we reorganized and made consistent most of the repos. And I think some of the commit dates are now like from last summer across the board. Okay. Well, and you know what? I mean, this is, I'll be honest with you, it's kind of an imprecise process. Like it doesn't have to be Absolutely, exact, yeah. No. You know, so I, I, I like the idea of just looking up the release notes and just seeing what was kind of in that batch. So here's you know the, I mean? these are the release notes. Okay. Notes. And I think I was on that page. Uh, so the oldest are at the bottom. Okay. So, which makes sense. Yep. Okay. So well, I good. I like, August, I like that. Idea. August 2019 was our first official release. Okay. Uh, at least the first official release that is published here. All but right. I, that cool. should include all the metrics that existed then. And those are two years old. So that seems like a good start. And I'm just like trying to look at my own screen right now. Well, let's move on to the other thing. Yeah, but that's okay. a good. That's a, I think that's a good recommendation and something we can mm -hmm. carry forward. Um, the next thing is in really kind of probably the only thing that we're going to do today. And I'll just ask folks to provide feedback. You know, how we can kind of reflect just a little bit on a metric was that uh, Regina and I had been working on the occasional and consistent contributors metric. And I'll click on it here. And so, Regina's on the call. So Regina, thank you for your for your help on this. That was great. And so I think we're getting to the point where um, the metric is is getting close to being done. Excellent. And so Sean, there were there were a few outstanding things. I don't think you were in the last chaos or the last chaos um, call. Last, I don't think call. I was. I don't remember where I was, but I believe I was not here. Yeah. So one of the things, if we could, I'm going to pause the recording, and if we could just head over to this document yep. for a little bit, and kind of like what we do is, you know, give it like ten minutes of reading. And Sean, maybe the one thing to note for you is that we have visualizations, and we have one for. Oh, yeah. Cauldron, and I'm guessing this is from DevStats. Is a like <laughs> not the easiest thing to read, but no. um, I'm, I'm guessing Augur has one as well. There's one in there um, that drive it's drive through and repeat contributor counts. I think we went from drive by to drive through to fly by. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, so well, can you include a visualization of that? Could you track that? Yeah, down? there is one in there right now. This drive through and repeat. Is this one? The, the, oh. The, so that that's not for Cauldron. Oh. Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Um, we've got something pretty similar. But yeah, I have. I've can you, can you track that down? Yep, sure can. Okay. So I'm going to stop my sharing if, and then I'm going to pause the recording. All right, welcome back. I'm going to share my screen. So some some nice nice edits through here. Um, it was the, I think the document was just really great. Um, was there anything that anybody wanted to draw forward that's worth talking about, worth talking about? Sean, do you think that, I had two questions, I guess, for you. Do you think on this visual, mm -hmm. this text is necessary? The text is part of the endpoint following my design belief that you should never deliver a visualization without a caption. Uh, well, there you go. A lot, of, a lot of good research to show that visualizations without captions are not super helpful. It's just not something that we do in yeah. these metrics often. That's all. I mean, I no, agree with you. Like all the auger. So these, this is from a visualization endpoint, and our design principle with auger has been and continues to be that. We don't deliver a visualization without a caption. Okay, uh, that's fair. So the caption, yeah, the caption, like you get that with the visualization. So that's considered. This is all considered the visual, essentially. It's that's what you get. Yeah, you 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 get the, you get an image. So that's not even selectable text at the endpoint. It's the intention is that you would 
you could embed that somewhere like in a presentation. And certainly if people want to speak to it instead of have the caption, they can crop the picture. Okay. Um, all right, thank you. And then what do people think about this dev stats one? I mean, it's it's not wrong. It's, it's just not, I'm not it's even just sure. It's not legible. <laughs> right, I, I, but I don't know, it looks I like would... stock prices. <laughs> I would say keep it because we are mentioning that tool as a one which is providing this option. So people can just, maybe they do not see the graph, but they can get the sense and look at the tool for this thing. Yeah. Or we can just mention the tool as the dev sets. But like, yeah. It, Go ahead, dev, Sean. Dev sets is an interesting tool because it has a lot of eyeballs on the production instance, but it has one developer. Um, so I think people will recognize dev stats if they've been around the CNCF or Kubernetes universes. And so it's helpful for them to see something they know. But I, mean, I think like, of all the tools, it's probably the most brittle just because there's only one developer. So what if I tried to... Like the, I guess to make it more legible, I don't know if there's a way to... I don't know which... I'm just gonna crop yeah. it down yeah Let's see uh yeah okay that yeah, certainly is more like it's more legible much more legible so i, I mean i did cut this... off some of the uh, labels, yeah. the labels yeah, were those. Yeah, yeah, those, those, those were important color. because. Yeah, to know what the colors are. Yes. I can do a little bit more here. Yep, on the right side, you can do it. Yep. There you go. Like all the way? No, because then that cuts yeah. off. No, that's good. Is that better? I guess so. Maybe, um, what is the time window here? I mean, this goes all the way back to 2018. Yeah, I was, I'm looking at the- um, The original one? Well, I'm looking at, like, I had to go find the dev stats. Dot. I... All right, I'm just gonna put a comment in here. This is a link to the base devstats.io that's used, but I don't know what filters and whatnot are applied to this visualization. Did you put it in the chat? I did, yeah. All right. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's, um, I'm trying to dig down, like, there's a lot of clicks you have to make. All right, well, maybe we can. I think this is helpful. Oh, we got new episodic contributors. I found it. I actually found a direct link that I, I got to wrap to. Yeah, me, that's, that was this, me, I think. Yeah, yeah. And but so maybe found, we can shorten the time frame to make it look a little better. Yes, I think. Um, I, can you put I the link on this issue, yep. on this comment I make? Yep. Let's track right it now. there, as opposed to just in the chat. Yep, yep. If I'm going to add this, hmm. this link right here is a shortened time frame that might be better. Thank and you. That'll take you. That'll take you straight out to something that okay. can be edited. Okay. Great. Um, all right. So I think maybe the because we're out of time. The action item, Regina, if you and I, could we continue to work on this together? Would that be okay with you? And just kind of clean this up? I saw you unmuted, but I didn't hear you. So that's okay. You could just, oh, okay, yeah, go ahead. She said yes in chat. Oh, oh, oh okay, chat. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. So we can connect. And I know Regina. you guys 
I know you guys have to hop. I had a couple questions in implementation if we, with you when you and Retina get together um, about different roles of contributors and how the GitLab commit log is what we're using. Just um, trying to increase the idea of role diversity and if there's a way we can address that in the metric. Like contribution diversity? Yeah. Okay, the different, okay, you have, so. You know, if you have somebody who comes in and updates your website, but it doesn't change anything in your Git commit, then you're missing part of your community. And yep. just, is there a way we can track that? Got it, okay. I put it in a comment just now, the diversity of contributions. I, th I think yeah. I had the same sense of that somewhere else. It was in the <laughs> question. The it was in the question, like uh, whether okay. you're looking for number of contributions or type of contribution, quality of contribution or something along that line. Yeah. Okay. And I don't uh, want to hold yeah. anybody up. I know everybody or a bunch of us have another meeting. So thank okay. you. Okay. No, thank that's you. point well taken. Thank you, Beth. Thanks, Beth. All right. Well, everybody, um, thank you. I know we have a short meeting, but we will uh, see you next time. Sean is gone. <laughs> thank you, Beth. Thank you, Regina. Bye. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you so much. We'll have a good day. Okay. Bye-bye.